Psalm 119. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that your ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed upon all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous rules. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this promise of blessing of those who walk in the law of the Lord. Lord, I pray we you impress upon us this morning the sweetness of your law. Lord, I pray that you impress upon us that we can keep your testimonies according to your grace and the one who fulfilled the law. Lord, I pray that we would be ones that could be described to diligently walk in the ways of the Lord and your statutes. In your name we pray. Amen. Psalms 119, beginning in verse 9 through verse 16. How can a young man keep his ways pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the rules of your mouth. In the way of your testimonies, I delight as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your words. Dear Lord, I want to thank you that knowing your word will guide us to keep our ways pure. Give me a desire to seek you with my whole heart so I will not wander from you and your commandments. Lead me to store up your words in my heart so I do not sin against you. Teach me your statutes, O Lord. Give me a desire to follow your rules. May I grow to delight in you more than riches as I meditate on your precepts and statutes so that I will not forget your word. Amen. I'm going to read verses 17 to 24. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. I am a sojourner on the earth. Hide not your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your rules at all times. You rebuke the insolent, accursed ones who wander from your commandments. Take away from me scorn and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Even though princes sit plotting against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. Your testimonies are my delight. They are my counselors. O oh Lord, bless me in ways pleasing to you, so that I may live in a manner consistent with your word. Help me, O oh Lord, to see and fully understand the wonders of your laws. Make me fully aware of your commandments and teachings at all times. O oh Lord, impress upon my soul an ever-present hunger to study and learn your laws and teachings. Protect me, O oh Lord, from harm and help me to continually focus on your commandments, which are my encouragement and my counselors. Amen. Psalms 119, 25 through 32. My soul clings to the dust. Give me a life according to your word. When I told of my ways, you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. 
put false ways far from me and graciously teach me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your rules before me. I cling your testimonies, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame. I will run in the way of your commandments when you enlarge my heart. Father God, what a joy just to stand here before you now and read your word. As Father, we do, or I do pray that my soul clings to the dust. Give me life according to your word. When I told my ways, you answered me. Teach me your statutes, Father. Oh God, you are the Lord of Lord and King of Kings. I am so thankful. Make me understand your way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Put false ways far from me and graciously teach me your law. Father God, I give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Verse 33, teach me, O Lord, the ways of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at worthless things and give me life in your ways Confirm to your servant your promise that you may be feared. Turn away the reproach that I dread, for your rules are good. Behold, I long for your precepts and your righteousness. Give me life. God, we do ask that you would give us understanding. We ask that you would help us to keep your law, that you would help us to obey you, that you would help us to keep your word with our hearts. With our whole hearts, we would obey you and repent from our sin. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Beginning in verse 41. Let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have an answer for him who taunts me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your rules. I will keep your law continually, forever and ever, and I shall walk in a wide place, for I have sought your precepts. I will also speak of your testimonies before kings, and shall not be put to shame. For I find delight in your commandments, which I love. I will lift up my hands toward your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, thank you for your steadfast love and for the gift of salvation according to your promise. Help us trust in your word and keep your law, for our hope is in your rules. Let us never be ashamed of your testimony in our lives and help us to delight in your commandments, which we love, and meditate on your statutes continually. In your son's name we pray. Amen. In verse 49, remember your word to your servant in which you have made me hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, that your promise gives me life. The insolent utterly deride me, but I do not turn away from your law. When I think of your rules from old, I take comfort, O Lord. Hot indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my sojourning. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and keep your law. This blessing has fallen to me that I have kept your precepts. Lord, we thank you that our hope is in you. We ask for the desire to know your word and your law and that we would find comfort and freedom as we learn your statutes. In our affliction and in the midst of criticism, help us to find solace in your word. In Christ's name, amen. Verse 57. 
The Lord is my portion, and I promise to keep your words. I entreat your favor with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. When I think on my ways, I turn my feet to your testimonies. I hasten and do not delay to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked ensnare me, I do not forget your law. At midnight I rise to praise you because of your righteous rules. I'm a companion of all who fear you, of those who keep your precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of your steadfast love. Teach me your statutes. Holy Father, there's none greater than you. Glory and honor is yours and yours alone. We thank you, Father, for your grace and your love that you've come to teach us, to walk with us, to uh, give us the capacity to glorify your holy name and to be obedient to you. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 65, you have dealt with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You're good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The insolent smear me with lies. But with my whole heart, I keep your precepts. Their heart is unfeeling like fat, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you, God, that you are good and your word is true. Father, your word is more precious than silver and more fine than gold. Help me, Father, to meditate on your word day and night. Amen. Verses 73 through 80. Your hands have made and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you shall see me and rejoice because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your rules are righteousness and in that, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. You are steadfast. Let your steadfast love comfort according to your promise to your servant. Let your mercy come to me that I may live for your law is my delight. Let the insolent be put to shame because they have wronged me with falsehood. As for me, I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me let, that they may know your testimonies. May my heart be blameless in your statutes that I may not put, be put to shame. Dear Lord, we'd like to thank you for creating us and, and do touch me and allow me to learn your statutes and give me a desire for that and use my life in a manner that does bring the light to you. Amen. Continuing on in Psalm 119, verses 81 through 88. My soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. My eyes long for your promise. I ask, when will you comfort me? For I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I have not forgotten your statutes. How long must your servant endure? When will you judge those who persecute me? The insolent have dug, dug pitfalls for me. They, don't, they do not live according to your law. All your commandments are sure. They persecute me with falsehood. Help me. They've almost made an end of me on earth, but I've not forsaken your precepts. In your steadfast love, give me life, that I may keep the testimonies of your mouth. Dear Lord, please help me when my spirit is fragile, my faith weakens, and my hope fades. 
you are there to sustain me when I need you the most. I will cling to the truths of scripture. I know that following your way is good and that you have provided for me as you promised. So please help me to stand strong, to not compromise, and to always follow your commandments. I am your servant, and I understand you give me eternal life as a believer. And I so love you, dear Lord. Amen. Reading through 89 through 96. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth, and it stands fast. By your appointment they stand this day, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked lie in wait to destroy me, but I consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your law. I pray that as it exposes my sin that I would repent and turn to you. Father, thank you that our salvation is found in Jesus Christ alone. You're the same yesterday and today and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm reading 97 through 104. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. And I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn aside from your rules, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you that I can gain understanding through your word, through meditation of your word, Lord, that I can turn against every evil way. Lord, I just pray that you use me for you and your word to teach the next generation of children, next generation of Christians, Lord, that we look to your law and that we meditate on it. In Jesus' name, amen. Continuing at uh, verse 105 to 112. Your world is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to keep your righteous rules. I'm severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my free will offerings and praise, O Lord, and teach me your rules. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me but I do not stray from your precepts. Your testimonies are my hearing, are heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. Loving Father in heaven, you are the source of the life that guides me. You are righteous and your word teaches righteousness. Lord, in the times that I have been afflicted and crushed, you have lifted me up and healed my broken heart and renewed my spirit. And only you can do that, Father. I'm awestruck by your amazing love, grace, and mercy. I live my life every day and try to live your laws, but I fall short. Forgive me, Father. There are constant traps in life, but you, Lord, have given me your laws to keep me on the path you desire me to be on. Your promise of eternal life with you is my desire. And I pray, Lord, for you to grant wisdom and guidance to help me finish well. 
Thank you, Jesus, for paying the debt I owe for my sins that I cannot repay. Amen. I hate the devil minded but I love your law you are my hiding place and my shield I hope in your word depart from me you evildoers that I may keep the commandments of my God uphold, the, uphold me according to your promise that I may live and let me not be put to shame in my hope hold me up that I may be safe and have regard for your statutes continually you spurn all who go astray from your statutes for their cunning is in vain. All the wicked of the earth you discard like dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Dear God, I pray that we will build our hope on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. May we be dressed in your righteousness alone, thoughtless to stand before your throne. For the grass withers and the flower fades, but it is your word that will stand forever. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? May we stand on Christ, the solid rock, for all other ground is sinking sand. Amen. I'm starting in verse 121. <clears throat> I have done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Give your servant a pledge of good. Let not the insolent oppress me. My eyes long for your salvation and for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your steadfast love and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for your law has been broken. Therefore, I love your commandments above gold, above fine gold. Therefore, I consider all your precepts to be right. I hate every false way. Pray with me. Lord, please teach us your statutes. Give us understanding to know your testimonies. Develop in us a desire to follow and love your commandments more than anything else. We know that these things are a reflection of your character, and they draw us closer to you. We ask all these things in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. Beginning in verse 129. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words give light, it imparts understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant, because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your way with those who love your name. Keep steady my steps according to your promise, and let no iniquity get dominion over me. Redeem me from man's oppression that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears because people do not keep your law. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the convicting power of your Holy Spirit. Let us not become comfortable with any sin. Let our hearts not become callous to your correction. Instead, let us only seek your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Continuing Psalm 119 with verse 137. Righteous are you, O Lord, and right are your rules. You have appointed your testimonies in righteousness and in all faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried and your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is righteous forever, and your law is true. Trouble and anguish have found me out, but your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your word, for your promises, for your faithfulness, which endures forever. Please uh, uh, forgive our trespasses and our uh, lack of faith and weakness of faith. Faith, please uh, give us unity and help us overcome the hard times that we have. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, 
This is continuing in verse 145. With my whole heart I cry, answer me, O Lord. I will keep your statutes. I call to you, save me, that I may observe your testimonies. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your words. My eyes are awake before the watches of the night, that I may meditate on your promise. Hear my voice according to your steadfast love. O Lord, according to your justice, give me life. They draw near who persecute me with evil purpose. They are far from your law, but you are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your testimonies that I have founded them forever that you have founded them forever. Pray with me. Lord God, you are so good and you are so awesome and you are so powerful. God, you answer us when we call to you. You love us, you draw near to us, Father, even when we, are, when we feel far from you. God, we confess that we don't observe your law so often, we disobey your word. We forget what you have done, we get bored with your salvation, with your word, with your gospel. Lord, convict us of those moments when that happens. God, we pray that, that we would cry out to you with our whole hearts, that as the psalmist said, that we would observe and remember your laws, your testimonies, your grace. Lord, help us to meditate on your promises. Help us to live according to your justice. Lord, give us life. Draw near to us when we are persecuted. Lord, when we feel far from you. We love you and we give you praise for your word. In Jesus' holy and precious name, amen. Verse 153. Look on my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Give me life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great is your mercy, O Lord. Give me life according to your rules. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, but I do not swerve from your testimonies. I look at the faithless with disgust, because they do not keep your commands. Consider how I love your precepts. Give me life according to your steadfast love. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous rules endures forever. Lord, give us life according to your steadfast love. Help us to uh, always make that the cry of our hearts. We thank you for sending your son to plead our cause and plead our case so that we can be redeemed. I ask that you would give us strength and courage when people stand against us or when we have uh, adversaries that come up, no matter what they are, who they are, uh, help us to never swerve from your testimony, to boldly proclaim our love and our faith for you. It is in your son's holy and righteous name that we pray. Amen. beginning with verse 161. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous rules. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies. I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Father God, all our sinful ways are before you. But we rejoice that your word is ever before us with the good news. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we are saved by grace through faith in him. Help us keep your commandments, convict us of the urgency to share the gospel, and to make disciples in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 
you'll notice from a reading of this word, we get a beautiful glimpse into the heart of David. He's described as a man that was after the very heart of God. But just because he is a godly man did not mean that he escaped suffering. Notice he mentions suffering and the contempt of evil men upon him. Didn't mean that he didn't face times of depression and anxiety as he turns his worries and his fears to the Lord. But notice also that David was a man of the word of God. And there is nothing, not one thing that will replace your time in God's word. As you open the word of God and commune with him and you read his words to you, it is more powerful than any sermon you'll ever hear. The greatest Bible study you ever read or the most encouraging podcast you could ever listen to, you need to be a man or a woman of the word of God. And listen how David finishes this song. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my plea come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips will pour forth praise, for you teach me of your statutes. My tongue will sing of your word, for all of your commandments are right. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live and praise you, and let your rules help me. I've gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Join me in praying. And Father, in this moment, we would all confess that like a lost sheep, we've turned to our own ways time and again. And Father, we are so thankful that you sent your Son a great shepherd to seek and to save that which was lost. And in bringing us salvation, you have poured into our hearts a love for your word and your law and your commands. God, remind us even this day that your commandments are not a burden to us, but a joy. Father, remind us this day of the great hope and certainty of our salvation found in Jesus. May we indeed sing of your word. May we indeed be people that pour forth your praise. So, Father, in all that we've prayed and all that we've read this morning, we say, hear our cry. Hear our plea. And, Holy Spirit, even in this moment, make it the cry of our hearts to know you and to make you known. Amen.